Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, as you guys can see, I am taking my tablescape down. There are some things that I will be keeping on the table and some things that I will be using. There are not new, but my own DIYs. Guys, today is Tablescape Tuesday. Actually, guys, I was too busy and I forgot to record my video for today. So, here I am doing it like I always tell you guys, spontaneously. I don't know where I'm going with it. So, let me clear my table and let's get started. Guys. This collaboration is hosted by the Grace Life DIY Home Decor and Cording from MSS Adventures. Guys, I'm going to polish my table and I'm going to bring you guys back. All right, guys, I'm going to use this um tablecloth i thrifted this tablecloth long time ago i'm talking about years ago and i only used the one so guys i'm going to do a spring table but i also want it to look natural because i am using natural elements as you guys can see it's an unusual color i'm gonna bring it close I thrifted this tablecloth maybe about, wow, nine, ten years ago. I love the bottom of it. Look at the style. So, guys, this is what I'm going to use because I'm using browns. So, this is going to look nice on the table. So guys, I love this tablecloth and when I thrift a long time ago, I packed it away and I couldn't find it. So I was looking through my boxes and there it was. So it is an unusual material, but I love it. I think it goes like this. Anyways, it is big. So let me fix it and we're going to continue. I am not using placements. Chargers are from the Dollar Tree. I want my table to look rustic. Plates are thrifted and these are wow well, I can't read it guys but I got them a long time ago I'm going to use my dessert plates. They all have different things. And on top of them, I will be using the regular plates that come with the set. The dessert plates, even though they're big, I'm still going to use them first. Then I'm going to put, you could either use them for bread and butter plates or salad plates. However you would like to use them. 
But yes, we are going to have desserts. You guys know that. So that's why I'm using the dessert cake. So the combination, it goes good perfectly. It matches the tablecloth. And it will match my uh, natural element. All right, guys. Let's see what else. I'm going to do my center here which I'm going to be using greenery from the Dollar Tree. I want it to look natural elements, even though these are not elements from outside, but uh, it will look very nice. I will be using a rustic style boho candle holder that I created in a video, very simple, anybody can do it. I will link that video either here or here in one of my cards. So you guys can go and check it out. Let me arrange my um, greenery on the center and then we are going to continue from there. I will be using the candle holder that I created. Do you guys see it right here? You guys gonna be like, oh, that's just a lot. It's actually a candle holder, guys. I and mean, if you go online to check out how much you could pay for a candle holder like this, it's gonna cost you. I did, and I went and I checked it. I said, no, I will make my own. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use uh, garland of flower. I'm going to incorporate it with it and I will be setting it on my center table. I don't know if you guys can see it. I arranged it on the center. Um, now I still want to use, what I want to use guys, what do I want to use? I think I'm going to add my gold um mirrors from the dollar tree in each end so yeah guys let's do that i really don't know what i'm going with it but so far i like what i see so let's do that guys i also added my serving tray at the end of the table because i will be serving some dessert This is still an Easter frame. So I just put a few pigs in there. Let's see what else I can incorporate. I got some birds on my table. So then this is a spring Easter tablescape, guys. I think I'm not gonna go overboard with bunnies and all that stuff. I think just Simple amount of eggs are fine. That'll give it a beautiful touch. I'm going to set, uh, set my glass. I don't know what glasses I'm going to use, but I'm going to put my glass and I'm going to put my, uh, I'm going to set my dessert table. And we're going to continue from there, guys. We're going to continue from there. greenery there. I think that looks very nice. Hello springtime from the Dollar Tree. Natural style candle.
We're doing bunny ears. arrange them in there make sure they stand nicely like bunny ears do no rhyme or reason just gotta make sure they look open so like so like so they're my bunny ear guys they're my bunny ears all right I still don't know what glasses I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use green glass to match with the greenery. And let's continue with the rest. Guys, this is what my table looks like. I'm putting, I'm putting my last touch. So, I hope you like what I put together for you guys. As much as I enjoy it, creating it for you. And just, if you say that you don't know how to do a tablescape, just start putting elements together. And the long run, and the end, everything's going to turn out nice. That's what I do. I never know when I'm going with my tables, guys. That's my boho style candle holder that I created. You guys can see the candles. Now you know what time it is. It's time to turn off the main light and turn on all the little lights on the table. I will be doing that for you, and I will show you what it looks like, guys. Well, guys, here we go. You guys can see, you see my fairy lights and everything else on. So now let's turn on the candles. And this is what my table looks like, guys. I hope you like it as much as I enjoyed it, putting it together for you guys. I think it turned out beautiful. I think I did a good job on creating my own vantage style boho candle holders. You guys can see that's what it looks like. I think I did a fantastic job, guys. I love it. I hope you love it. This is my spring tablescape. But I think it looks beautiful, guys. I think it looks absolutely amazing. And here is my serving little table. I have my teapot. I choose to use the brown one to bring all the elements together. My Hello Sign Spring. I have a pot for tea and of course the one for the coffee. My Vantage Cream and Sugar. I have my little espresso coffee in the back, the cups that goes with the pot. I have my goodie serve there and some greenery guys um i hope you like what i put together for you as much as i enjoying it putting it all together as you guys can see over there i still have my easter little mini tree all decorated as well guys let me turn on the light and come over here and leave it like i always say Let me turn on one of the lights. There's my table. I think it turned out fabulous. Guys, be kind to one another. Don't forget to smile. Overall, stay safe, stay healthy. And remember, guys, God loves you. And Debbie also loves you too. And we'll be into the next one. Bye-bye, guys.